Today we're going to find the behavior of a graph near the zeros. So we have our function f of x equals x to the fourth plus 5x to the third minus 6x squared. The first thing we need to do is to find the zeros. Finding the zeros, we're basically factoring the equation. So we've taken out an x squared, and we have a quadratic left, x squared plus 5x minus 6x. And that will factor easily into x plus 6 and x minus 1. So that we set those all to 0, and we come up with our zeros of 0, 1, and negative 6. Now to find the behaviors of those of the graph near those zeros, we need to insert those into the equation except in the part that will make it equal to 0. So when we're looking at the behavior near 0, we are not going to substitute 0 in the x squared because that would make it 0. We're going to substitute it in the other parts. So we have 0 plus 6 and 0 minus 1. And that leaves us with a negative 6x squared. Now to find that behavior, we look at the, um, the variable degree. And this is an even degree, so it's going to be a parabola. And we have a negative, so we know that it opens down. When you have an even multiplicity, or an even multiple on the degree, um, it's going to touch the graph, not cross. So we know that it touches. And when we test 1, we put 1 in for everything except for the x minus 1 and we get 7 times x minus 1. That tells us that it's going to be a line, and this part of the equation tells us that it's going to move right 1, and the slope is 7, and this will cross the graph. When we test out the negative 6, we substitute 6 into the x squared, and we get um, 36, that should be negative 6, but it's still going to come out to 36 times negative 7 times x plus 6. And we come up with negative 252 times x plus 6. That again is a line, and we can see from this part of the equation that it's moved left 6, and our slope is negative 252, and that will also cross. So what that looks like on our graph, we're just sort of filling in the middle. At the x, at the negative 6, we're going to have a, a line that's going in the negative, that has a negative slope, and it's a steep slope. At the 0, we have a parabola that opens down, and at the 1, we have a line that has a positive slope of 7, and that will help you fill in the middle of your graph.